Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule. 저희 방송은 다양한 언어를 제공합니다. 다음을 참고하세요. suprememastertv.com slash schedule. Rwanda, the awakened land of a thousand hills. Part two of two. Continue watching to find out more. His in this world must be earned. Be vegan. Kind-hearted viewers. Umunshi wawe wa genzeute. I just asked, how was your day? In Kenya, Rwanda, the principal language spoken in the Republic of Rwanda, and Jerome, the joyful people of Rwanda, thank you for practicing the spiritual way and wish that you will soar above the stars through your practice. Welcome to our show, Rwanda, the awakened land of a thousand hills, part two of two. The history of Rwanda goes back more than 10,000 years when the first inhabitants of the region settled there during the Neolithic period. Between the 15th and 19th centuries AD, the area became part of the Kingdom of Rwanda. In 1962, the country declared its independence. Rwanda's endeavor to preserve its traditions and culture can be seen in the continuation of crafts such as basket weaving, ceramics, blacksmithing, and others. The elegant Rwandan woven baskets come in different shapes, sizes, and designs and are used as containers for a variety of purposes. Apart from daily household use, Rwandan baskets can also be used as wall decorations or as centerpieces on tables. At weddings or at welcoming parties, the baskets are gifted as peace pots. An image of the Agaseke basket with its cylindrical body and sloped conical lid can be found on Rwanda's 5,000 franc bank note, as well as in the center of its national seal. Symbolizing the link between the country's past and present, the central basket on the seal is surrounded by a coffee tree branch on the right and a stem of sorghum on the left, representing the country's two important agricultural crops. The traditional seals on both sides symbolize strong protection against harm. The surrounding green circle with a nod and a cogwheel symbolizes the communal spirit. The seal reads, Republic of Rwanda, Unity, Work, Patriotism. Traditionally made only by women of high status, the iconic Agaseke baskets are now deemed symbols of prestige and affluence and are primarily used for home decoration and gift exchanges at ceremonies. Rwandan baskets are typically made from local plants such as sasal, raffia, sweetgrass, banana leaves, and papaya leaves and are dyed with natural pigments. The country's traditional weaving techniques are still being practiced today. One of the most advanced techniques is quill weaving, which involves sewing sasal fiber over a grass coil to make one row after another on a spiral course. It takes firm, sturdy hands along with patience and perseverance to make a perfect basket and can take several years to master. Weaving household baskets is traditionally done by women, while men weave items such as roofs, ceilings, granaries, fences, and shields. Traditional huts are made of common local materials such as grass, reed, and bamboo. 
of the grass thatched houses are no longer built. They are showcased in the King's Palace Museum in the city of Nyanza. The museum houses a reconstruction of the residence of the 19th century King His Majesty Yuhi Musinga V. The main king's chamber has a hand woven domed roof supported by cypress pools and covered with woven mats on top of soft grass. Within the building, woven panels of various patterns are used as screens to provide privacy. The art of basket weaving is kept alive by many Rwandan women today. The basketry business generates income for women and their families. To help women in the Kigeme refugee camp in Rwanda become financially independent, classes in basket weaving were introduced by the United Nations. Authentic traditional baskets made by women from the Rwandan village of Muhanga are sold worldwide through the charitable group Weaving Hope and the funds are used to build schools in the country, creating a win-win situation. Another art form that only exists in Rwanda is called imigango, a cow dung painting that features strikingly bold geometric patterns typically in red, black, and white colors. Once almost lost, this art form has made a strong comeback. The works of contemporary imigongo artists can now be seen in souvenir and art shops, studios and five-star hotels throughout the city of Kigali, Rwanda's capital. Imigongo art was originally practiced by village women to decorate their hearts. The artwork was thought to have a magical component, and legend has it that the 18th century leader, His Royal Highness Prince Kakira, brought it to the royal palace, thus making it famous. Therefore, many credit Prince Kakira as the creator of this art form and named it after his territory of rule, Isaka Imigongo. Vegan, cause we respect the animal people protection law we made. Peaceful viewers will now pause for a moment to hear a brief message. We'll return shortly. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our show featuring the culture of Rwanda. The walls on the streets of Rwanda especially in Kigali are becoming more colorful and vibrant due to the increase in mural art thanks to an organization called Kurema Kureba Kuiga founded in 2013 by the American creative director Judith Ken. The name means to create, to see, to learn in Kenya Rwanda, the language most spoken in Rwanda. The murals not only beautify the streets but also promote positive messages on social issues such as education, environmental protection, and public health. In 2020, artists from Kurema, Kureba, Kuiga painted a series of murals in Kigali to remind people about taking precautions to prevent the spread of the COVID-19 virus. Regarding this effort, Judith says, The participating artists think this is their contribution to Rwanda's fight against COVID-19. Recognizing that art is a powerful mode of communication, we hope that the message can sink in among residents to adopt hand washing, sanitizing, and proper wearing of masks as a daily norm. The vibrant colors of visual art can also be found in Umusanana, the traditional Rwandan attire that people often wear at formal occasions such as weddings and ceremonies. For women, Musanana consists of two pieces of cloth, one wrapped around the waist as a full-length skirt, and the other slung over the shoulders. Men's attire usually consists of the long skirt with a plain shirt and a beaded necklace. The elegant Umusanana is gaining popularity and is becoming a part of modern fashion in Rwanda. The Made in Rwanda campaign, launched by the government in 2015, has promoted the growth of domestic products and brands, including those of the fashion sector. As a result, many young designers feel encouraged to develop their own business. Well-known Rwandan fashion brands now include House of Tayo, Inzuki Designs, Motions, 
and Haute Basso. Many of these brands combine Rwandan traditional art with modern elements, expressing the nation's unique spirit and beauty. Thus, the capital city of Kigali is on its way to becoming the Paris of Africa. The people of Rwanda love music and dance, especially at major events such as celebrations, rituals, and ceremonies. Musical styles such as imbuno is played to accompany dances, while indirimbo is a type of music meant just for listening. Dances accompanied by imbuno music include umusa giriro, umudiho, intero, and others. Most dance forms reflect the performer's identity, while the choreography reveals where they come from as well as their occupations, such as farming or soldiering. Indirimbo is a type of Rwandan song that is not performed with drums or to accompany dance. Songs that represent Indirimbo include Igihoze songs to pacify crying babies, fairy tale or legend songs, poetry recitations, Widoga farmer's songs, Kwitonga traveler's songs, Amas are songs for both men, and many more. The songs can be sung without musical instruments or may be accompanied by a single instrument such as the Inanga zither, the Iningiri fiddle, the Umuduri musical bow, or the Ikembe, a type of tam piano. Like other traditional art forms in Rwanda, music is evolving with the emergence of contemporary artists who bring their own creative interpretations, resulting in a new traditional style. In October 2021, Belgium returned over 4,000 sounds and songs recorded during the colonial period to Rwanda as a goodwill gesture. These precious recordings contained in the disc were received by the Rwanda Cultural Heritage Academy, who promised to share them with the rest of the country through social media. Regarding the recordings, the pioneering Rwandan Afrofusion singer, songwriter, and producer Michael Makembe says, this disc will give us a clear image of our traditional music so that we can develop ideas from them and create our own style, different from other sounds. One of the most famous Rwandan musicians is Jean Paul Samputu, who has been introducing the world to the fascinating Rwandan songs and dances through his versatile talents over three decades. Mr. Samputu was awarded the 2003 Kora Award for most promising African male artist and was named a Universal Peace Federation Ambassador for Peace. Along with his musical career, Jin has been tirelessly promoting peace, reconciliation, and forgiveness, as well as helping people to heal and recover from trauma. With the wise leadership of the government, the diligent work of its people, and the united Umuganda spirit, may Rwanda continue to rise from the past and transform into a country of peace, harmony, and prosperity through God's grace. Human health is entirely dependent on the substances you choose to build your body out of. And I believe that good spiritual health comes from a plant-based life. Philip McCulloch Downs, Vegan Blessed viewers, thank you for your company today during our program. Rwanda, the awakened land with a thousand hills part 2 of 2. Up next, the Shining World Compassion Award recipient, Mr. Bob Isaacson vegan and dharma voices for animals right after noteworthy news may god's boundless grace always be with you and your loved ones our programs offer many languages please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash ctaw